Hello and welcome back everybody. So recently we created a map, we created a basic player, and we created a GitHub repository so that we can have some basic version controlling for our project. Um, in this episode I'm going to continue working on the enemy game object. And before we get started, um, one thing that I, I just did wrong right now is I opened up Unity and I started working on the project and I saved and then I went to GitHub to commit my change and I realized that I was actually working on the wrong project because I copied and pasted my project into GitHub and then I was working on the on the file structure outside of GitHub. Um, so make sure you're working on the right version of your project. I, I, I actually just before this video I went back and deleted the the original copy so now I'm just working on the GitHub copy. Um, so to make sure you're working on the right one you can open up open up the project in Explorer FPS assets and then just click on the scene asset and that that'll make sure you have the correct project open um, and then I don't really like the way the grass looks so I'm just gonna delete that uh, we, we can make it look better later but for now I'm just getting rid of it go ahead and save and then confirm that um, there is a change within our repository so we'll call this season 1 episode 11 Commit one. I removed the grass. So yeah, I, I recommend just doing some basic change and then committing that just to just to verify that everything is working correctly. Once that finishes syncing, you can click view on GitHub just to verify. And there it is. Season one, episode eleven, commit one. So now all our changes are saved, and it's kind of like in an RPG, like as you're going through the game, it it kind of helps to have a bunch of different save points because because if you, um, if you take your character down a path you don't like, and then have a, have a bunch of saves along the way, um, you can go back and then never go down a certain path and change paths completely. Um, so it's it's nice to have, to have some flexibility with your saving system. That's why I use GitHub. Uh, anyway, um, in this episode we're working on the enemy. So let's go ahead and find the creature prefab. I think it's this one, and just drag that into the scene. Looks pretty decent. Um, I don't really like the way it's being lit right now. I wonder if I can play around with that. So let's go to Creature Prefab. And there should be like a mesh renderer. Yeah, right here. So we have our skinned mesh renderer. Materials, Creature 1 Albedo. I'm just going to click on that. And now this is the material that's being used for the object. Um, I don't know why they use specular. I'm just going to change it to standard. That still doesn't look very great. Bring down the smoothness. Let's see. Go back to the material. Oh, that's weird. Make him a little bit darker. I'm just going to turn off the emission. Nine. Set that back to zero. This creature looked really nice in the demo scene that it came with. Uh, let me load that up really quick. Test scene. See, I feel like he, he looked really nice here, and especially w with that emission that was coming off him, he looked really good in in this particular lighting. Um, but within the lighting of our scene, uh, he didn't look that great. So, th so that's... Um, don't save. That's one of the interesting things about game development, is that uh, different materials look very different in different um, lighting situations. 
Um, so I tried to just use the standard, the standard Unity 5 shader for everything, and then tweak the values because it, that one seems to work the best across um, various different uh, levels of light. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so let's let's just continue to tweak the material a little bit more. What can I do to make this look better? I think he needs a little bit more contrast. Like, I really like these sort of bumpy areas, uh, but they seem to be kind of washed out. So um, if I can enhance those by playing with these settings, that would look really nice. Uh, what else? Global illumination, detail mask, detail albedo, normal map. Oh yeah, let's let's move up the normal map to like point five. That makes this that that makes these um, ruffles in his skin look more. Uh, like deeper, basically. Mm, what else? Occlusion. Okay, I think that'll that'll do for now. And you can see he's already animated. Um, if you want to check out the animator properties, you can click on the guy. Click on controller. Um, Unity uses these. Um, they're called animator controllers, and he's got one state. Currently, he's in his default state, and you can play that. And there's just sort of like a little idle animation. He just stands there. Um, if we want to start modifying this, we can do. Uh, we can open up the guy. Remember, I showed you before. All of his animations are are in. Or they're actually like bundled in with the model. So let's say we just want to do like an attack animation. We're just going to drop that into the animator, and then right click and set as default state. So now, as soon as we play the game, he should just start smashing the ground. And it only played once, so uh, let's see. Go back to the animator. I know there's a very simple way to make it loop back on itself. There's, just, there's a checkbox somewhere. Speed, mirror, cycle offset, foot IK, right defaults. Hmm. Where would that be? That's so irritating. Um, I usually just animate things with the default 
uh, mechanism animations that you can download from the asset store. And they look a little bit different um, in the inspector. Like there's, there's different fields that you can access. So I'm not seeing the loop checkbox right now. There's a loop time. Oh, wait. Aha, I think, I think that's all I have to do. Just hit loop time. Uh, cycle offset. Just, let's just apply that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Sorry that took me so long. So now we have a basic, interesting looking enemy. We're going to need it to like run toward us. And then once it gets within a certain range, it's going to start smashing toward us. Um, so we're going to have to use scripting for that. Um, if you've never used scripting before, it's going to be fairly straightforward. Um, and if you don't understand all of it right away, that's completely fine. Um, because when I first started, I was a little bit overwhelmed too. So don't worry about that. So uh, we're up to 11 minutes now. I think I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, but in the next video, we'll pick up working on the enemy. Oh yeah, and before I go, I do want to do one more commit. So we um, we put the creature into the scene. We changed um, the prefab a little bit to make him look better. In my opinion, he looks better. Uh, maybe not. And then we saved the scene. So now let's go ahead and push that onto the server. So we'll call this Season, season 1, Episode 11, Commit 2. And we'll just say, touched up the enemy and looped attack animation. Commit. Sync. Okay, that's it.